Good morning, folks. We've got top articles for you today and a quick rundown and review of the solar blast yesterday and its forecasted impact. We are starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun was mostly quiet until that big blast top right, an M3.9 solar flare and CME. Today we'll be watching the south central region for further eruptive activity, but at this time we've got that one very widespread CME coming from the filament explosion within the active region, and we saw this in last night's video, the long duration flare shape rather than the previous impulsive spikes. We took a polar proton surge that is waning now here this morning as you see on the left. Minor electron storm has begun this morning on the right. The coronagraph showed the bulk missing the planet. But a minor halo indicates a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field is likely tomorrow night. We've also got a coronal hole stream on the way before that, so geomagnetic conditions may amplify here at the start of the week. In the articles, let's go first to alien worlds. Did you know that despite the concept that they think life exists across the cosmos, they have mostly ruled out water worlds because of a perceived lack of phosphorus on such planets? Oops. Looks like that enormous concept of astrobiology just got a whole lot bigger, and it includes water moons like exist at Jupiter and Saturn. Folks, this one will take a climate change banner in the mainstream news, but the amplification of tropical cyclones is also precisely what's expected as Earth's magnetic field continues weakening, cosmic rays continue penetrating, and the global electric circuit is energized. Up next, we're going to Mars where the primary planetary change there in the solar system shift has recently shifted from a minor climate change to a major seismic change. The story grows deeper today as a deep analysis revealed even more earthquakes than they thought. And what's more, they imply the long-held theory of a dead Martian mantle is wrong. It's live and convective. And while it is possible that's always been the case and they just got the theory wrong, it's also possible that as we've said many times already, while tracking the solar system shift, maybe Mars is awakening. Last little note here, a fantastic work attempting to simplify the core activity models and field generation of Earth. The problem is that to explain the observed paleo intensity implied rapid field variations, kind of like we're in now, they need a stratified layer on top of the core, or at least they did. Golf clap for the new insight, and three cheers for the continued tracking and analysis of this planet's rapid magnetic shift and the coming resulting biosphere disaster. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. Your podcast was delayed a day. We'll have that for you in a few hours. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.